Hey everybody! I have something to show you guys now that I've shown the circle cardigan bolero jacket that I just finished. Um, my next crochet project, which I'm going to start over the weekend, I may start it tomorrow night. I have a set of pocket letters I have to finish tonight that I have to mail out tomorrow and I have a doctor's appointment in the morning. And I should be on my own from lunchtime onward, so I may go ahead and start this tomorrow afternoon. If not, I'm going to start it over the weekend. But it is going to be a slightly fancy cardigan. And the pattern I found on Ravelry, it's Drops Design, and it's called the Autumn Delight. And I've used the Drops patterns before, and I've used the Drops yarn, and I haven't had any trouble with it. So I decided to go ahead. I, I saw this picture of this cardigan and just fell in love with it. And I've got some bigger pictures that I printed out for reference and you can see it's one of those drape front unstructured cardigans that are so popular and I really tend to like those and the way they fit on me but what really sold me on this cardigan that I fell in love with was this back center panel and it is so pretty and just the the fact that it's not really lacy but it's got a lot of little open spaces in the the rows so it's not going to be super bulky and hot and where I live we don't really get much of a winter so this is something I can wear um, the end of October, November, December, January, February, maybe a cool, a cool evening in the middle, the beginning of March. So this is something I can actually get wear from so it's worth investing the time and the money for the yarn to make something nice. So I fell in love with this, the colors, everything. So. Here's a, a bigger picture of the front where you can see it's, you know, got that basic drape front that's so popular now. And here's the picture that shows the sides and the sleeves and how the little points hang in the sides. And then here's a close-up of that center back medallion. And I just totally fell in love with that. That is so pretty. And it's probably right at the upper limit of my skill level. It's considered intermediate or advanced beginner. It's There's a chart. There's instructions, but there's also a chart. And I can read a chart, so I don't think I'll have a problem making this. So, and once you get past the medallion, the body of the jacket is just repeats. And I'll show you guys the way it's made in a little bit. But when I saw this and fell in love with it, I fell in love with the colors and everything. So I bought the yarn that was shown uh, for the demo project. And it's a Drops Delight. And the colorway, it just goes by a number, but it's called Brown Beige. <clears throat> and it's shades of, I'm sorry, Blue Beige. It's shades of blue ranging from indigo all the way to very, very faded out blue, grayish blue. There's some gray. There's there's some brown and then you know and some of the other balls you can see more but up in there there's some of that pale pale tan going almost towards a wheat color so it's a really neat color colorway and I picked this colorway partly because it's perfect for fall for me because it's got every shade of denim blue in it so every single pair of jeans <coughs> and denim skirt I own I can wear this with and then I've got brown boots, I've got tan boots, I've got tan Birkenstocks, you know, the, the clog Birkenstocks, I've got some other brown shoes, so anything I wear, shoes and jeans in the fall, will go with this. And then I've got, you know, a brown long sleeve t-shirt, a tan long sleeve t-shirt, a gray long sleeve t-shirt, an olive long sleeve t-shirt, so all colors that I can wear this with. So this is something I felt was completely worth um, investing the time and money for the yarn. Although, to be honest, the yarn was on sale for around two bucks a skein. So the entire project is going to be less than $40, which is not bad for something in my size, especially custom sized. And this is wool, so it's, um, it's actually a bargain. But the pattern goes to 3x. I'm not really confident about the 3X fitting me. I've made their patterns in a 3X before and they came out okay, but this one I um, 
look through the pattern and look through the measurements and I'm thinking I need to add a little bit of a little bit of size to it and a little bit of length to it and I'll show you how that works and by the way this is the this is the chart for that center medallion so that's a little bit intimidating but it's it's really not I think I can handle this so but I have extra yarn so in case I mess up and can't unravel it I unravel it I can you know go back and do it again I'm trying to get all these pages stick stuck together okay this is the body of the jacket and it is the sister to that spiral jacket that circle jacket I showed you guys except in this one instead of a circle with slits for the arms it's a square with slits for the arms and then they had these extra little panels for the front drape now I'm gonna have to add extra to the sleeves which is no big thing and I'm gonna have to figure out how to add extra to the length which I don't want to just slap a panel on there I'm probably gonna have to make and this right in here in the middle is where that pretty medallion is what I'm probably gonna have to do is once I get to around here just start doing increases there 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 and do my increases that way instead of putting these extra panels on so we'll see how that works out one way or another I'm gonna figure out how to get it to work because I really want the cardigan that bad so that's that's my next project coming up and it's probably going to take me most of summer to do <clears throat> because something I didn't really think about this this is sock weight yarn and it calls for like a, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so this is going to take forever and thankfully you know once you get past that center medallion the rest of it is pretty straightforward as far as stitches you know there's not much not much you know elaborate stitching in there so it's just going to be mindless following of you know routine crocheting which I like you know I, I like patterns that I don't have to think a lot and refer back to a chart a lot so that that's it that's my pattern I got my yarn and hopefully I will get that done and I'll definitely do updates on that as I get it done um, don't know when I'll get that back medallion done who knows but that's the next project and I will see you guys next time bye